My name is Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a video on how to install underfloor heating. This will be the first video in a number of videos so if you've got any questions please ask them in the comments below and then in the follow-up videos I'll try my best to include um, any answers to any of the questions um, so I can help as much as possible. Um, in, this, in this particular, the first one that we're doing this is in my man cave and this is a concrete floor. So what I'll do is I'll just show you some of the products that we've got now for that. Um, and then I'll go through how you would get your drawings um, and how you would know what to install really. Um, so I've got a company Beneath Heat um, and they've they've supplied me with the drawings for this for, for in here um, so, so that I know what I need to fit. Also the different insulation for the floor. So I'll go through that with you as well. That's quite interesting really because I didn't put any underfloor insulation in here. So it's just a concrete slab. And now I want to put underfloor heating on. I've decided afterwards that I want to put underfloor heating in, um, which maybe I should have done that, thought of that first. But anyway, that's another that's another story. So anyway, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look now and I'll show you. We'll go through some of the products that we've got here. When you order this, you get a full drawing and diagram so it can uh, help you with all your flows. Also, you get a pack, you get um, an information pack, so that'll help you as well. And in there, it shows you different, different systems. And then we've got the manifold there. So this is just going to have two loops on this. It's only a very small system. We've got a pipe there, and that's a barrier, oxygen barrier pipe. So we're not going to allow any air ingress with the system. Um, that's just as just as firm as that. And then some valves that will go on the end of there. That's just like his wiring centre. We've got his pump in there. And then we've just got some more fittings in here. And the, the blending valve in there as well. And this is the really, this is the really, really interesting stuff, this. So, as I says to you, I forgot to, um, or I've decided this as an afterthought. But I still need to put insulation down. And if you see this, this is insulation that you can put straight onto a concrete floor. So we can put that straight onto a concrete floor. Obviously we'll cut that, put, do all the floor in that. And then we can put this underfloor heating in these gaps here. But it's going to have, still going to have insulation then. So that's, that's really good. If we have a closer look at this, and just zoom into there, it's really dense and it's like, it's a little bit like King's, uh, like Kingspan stuff, but it's really, really dense. So that'll give us as insulation from the floor. When we lay it on the floor, we can see that it's, it's low profile. So it's not gonna raise the floor that much. And then once we've put the pipes in that, so obviously we do all the floor, we'd put the pipes in, and then we have to put a screed over top of that as well. Um, but even so, it, it's not gonna raise the floor that much on a concrete floor. So that's, that's part one. Um, as I say, if you've got any questions, ask them. In the comments below and what i'll do is I, I, i'm gonna well i'm gonna start to install this now um and i'll video uh, i'll video it as i do it and i'll do it totally step by step so that you'll be able to just do it you know you better do it yourself diy if if you know if you wanted to do that i'll also do all the wiring um show you how to connect it into the into into the heating system um yeah so as I say, if you've got any questions, ask them in comments below and thanks for watching.